the current flowing in the wire is decreasing and the current is flowing in the direction from Q to P. Now when the current will flow in this wire, suppose we draw the wire over here and when the current flows through this wire, you have a magnetic field all around this wire. You have concentric circles like this. This is going into the plane of the plane of the board on this side. So suppose we take a loop over here. We choose a loop and let's say we draw the loop over here. I'm drawing a slightly bigger loop just to okay now we have a loop over here so since the magnetic field lines are going into this you can show this by these crosses since these indicate the tail of the arrows so the magnetic field is into the plane of the board and the field is increasing I'm, I'm sorry the field is decreasing because the current is decreasing. So if the current is decreasing, the field is decreasing. So with time, you would have a field which is decreasing like this. The magnetic field is decreasing with time. Now the tendency of the circuit will be to increase this field because by Lenz's rule, the current will flow in such a way so that the field in this direction increases which means the current should flow in the anti-clockwise direction. See to see to understand the direction of the current in the field you use Maxwell's right hand rule. In this case <clears throat> you had your thumb pointing in this direction and your fingers curled in this direction. Now in this case you can take your fingers curled in the direction of the current which is like this and your thumb which points into the plane of the page is the direction of the field. So we are just using Maxwell's rule in reverse. I mean instead of having the, your, the current flowing along the thumb, in this case we are indicating the current flowing along the fingers and the thumb gives the direction of the magnetic field. And here the thumb gives the direction of the current and the fingers give the direction of the magnetic field.